Did you know that to succeed on the carnivore diet, it is all about your mindset? We will learn more in today's video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sylvia and I'm a big city mom. And that's because I live, work and raise my family in New York City. A year ago now, I was able to reverse autoimmunity, rheumatoid arthritis through diet, lifestyle and nutrition. I was so impressed with the results that it finally pushed me to start my blog, bigcitymom.com and this channel. So if you are into health, diet, nutrition, healthy lifestyle, whatever you are, even if it's a big city like New York, this is a definitely channel for you. So subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's talk about your mindset and carnivore diet. Let's face it, dieting isn't easy and it doesn't matter which diet you are on. There is a lot of hard work, a lot of commitment. There is a lot of trials and errors. There is a lot of setbacks. So not a lot of people want to diet and a lot of people fail when they try and they are fed up so they walk away. However, a few succeed. So what motivates the people that succeed? What's different about them? The challenges are the same for everybody. The withdrawals from carbohydrates, which are absolutely crazy. The withdrawals from tea, coffee. I was so addicted to coffee that I couldn't function properly for over a month. The addiction to the snacks, what about the emotional eating, especially when you are tired, stressed out and overworked? It feels good to have something sweet with tea or coffee. Your dysfunctional microbiome will drive your hormonal system crazy so that you will give it the food, it will keep it alive, those bugs don't want to die. But what is different is the mindset. And when it comes to mindset, reframing of your thoughts and cognitive strategies, I actually have some credentials in this area. A year ago, I got certified in neuro-linguistic programming. And I will link the school that I attended in the description box, so definitely check it out because it is a very broad and complex system. But if I had to put it in one line, it would be studies of successful behaviors put into the whole system that you can learn and implement for success in life. First thing first, let's identify the problem. How bad is your health? Where do you stand right now? How painful it is for you to get through the day? Do you have a mental fog, fatigue? Do you feel groggy throughout the day, week, months, and you don't feel 100% ever? Define exactly where you are. This is really important. Chances are, if you are willing to give a shot to the carnivore diet, the conventional medicine has already failed you and the medication is beginning not to work or you have so many side effects that you will give a try to anything to get better. Answer the following questions. How long have you been putting up with your condition? How much does pain dictate what you do and don't do for the day? How much you depend on coffee to get through the day, to be engaged with your children, with your partner, with your coworkers or with your friends? How much time goes into your doctor's visit? How many activities you give up to because of the continuous pain and lack of energy? And now it's time to establish your goals. How do you want to feel? Do you want to be pain free? Do you want to be full of energy and being able to do sports, be more engaged with your children and with your partners? Do you want to give up on coffee and rely on the energy of your body? Do you want to be naturally more productive, creative? Do you want to learn more habits? Do you want to have a happier and more fulfilling life? If you are a visual person, imagine your goal. Visualize it clearly with the eyes of your imagination. If you are a person that learns through hearing, record yourself and listen to yourself over and over again. And if you learn by doing things and feeling them within yourself, then step into that feeling of being healthy, full of life and joy. One really important thing to know is that your body will not be your ally in the beginning stages. And that's because of your gut microbiome and probably the industry as well, because all processed foods that are disturbing to our gut microbiome are so accessible, they're cheap, convenient, they taste great, and your gut microbes want more and more of them. So if you take them away, they will drive you crazy. But keep that in mind. Any time you feel terrible cravings and you think the world is coming to an end, give yourself a compliment or credit, you're doing it right. You are succeeding because you are going through withdrawals. That means changes are happening. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Decisions are easy. 
deciding is hard. To every decision in life, there are many benefits, but there is a price to pay. And so what you have to do is to decide and agree to pay the price. And in case of carnivore diet, benefits are many. Improved health, re reversal of chronic diseases, uh, improved energy levels, I mean, the list goes on. But there is a price to pay, and that is you will not be able to eat when you want it, how you want it, and what you want. So decide to improve your health, to have more energy, and pay the price, which is you won't be able to eat what you want, when you want it, and how you want it. And now we have to reframe failure because we all know what it feels like and we are all afraid of it. And oftentimes we don't engage in something just so that we don't fail. It's true for most of us, isn't it? So I share with you something I learned in NLP and that's there's no such thing as failure, only feedback. So each time I failed on the carnivore diet, which I did time and time again, I took failure as feedback, something that gives me opportunity to learn adjust my strategy so that I get better next time. And also when it comes to failure, each time you do fail, know this, you are getting closer to your ultimate goal because you are becoming more experienced and wiser and you are learning something for the future. Failure gets you closer to your goal each time. Just remember this. Let's talk about discipline. Everybody knows the value of it and also everybody says they could have some more of it. So let's look at the strategy to develop more discipline. Even those of us who say they aren't disciplined enough or not disciplined at all, will have at least one or two things in their life, even if they're small, such as making of bed or brushing your teeth, are disciplined about. I personally am really disciplined about exercising. I've been exercising on a regular basis since I was 23. I exercise pre-pregnancy, during pregnancy, postpartum, while I was nursing, with a toddler now, and a full-time job, blog, and this channel. You might ask what motivates me? And that is my top criteria, life criteria, is health and longevity. So exercising, boost that criteria and makes my brain chemistry work better and makes me feel happy. So this is what I identify as my motivation, health and longevity, and that boosts my discipline to do what I need to do to have health and longevity. And exercise fits right to it. So I took those criteria and what drives me to exercise to apply it to diet. You, I want to be healthy and I want longevity and diet, carnivore diet goes right into it because I am able to reverse my chronic disease and I feel better, I don't have to rely on coffee. So that's what drives me, that's what boosts that life criteria of health and longevity. So that is a number one ingredient to developing discipline. Now, second step to discipline is to identify what gets in the way of fulfilling of your one of the most important life criteria. And let's stay on the topic of exercise. So for me, I can do it mostly in the morning. And the biggest thing that gets in the way is that lazy feeling that my body just doesn't want to get out of bed at 5.30. So what I do is I connect the feeling of laziness <laughs> to the pain in my joints. And that is called a neuro-linguistic programming anchoring. So you have to repeat it a few times. Anytime I feel lazy, I also think, oh, rheumatoid arthritis is coming back. And you have to repeat it for a couple of weeks to see results. But each time I wake up and I feel that laziness, I start thinking, oh, my joints will be hurting. I better get up. So this is how you can teach yourself discipline. You take your behaviors, your mindset, your activities, how your emotions line up with your mindset, about something that you're already doing well, something that you are already disciplined about, analyze it, break it down, what motivates you, what gets in the way, and this way you will work out your own customized recipe for discipline. All right, so this was a NLP strategy to transfer discipline from one aspect of your life to another. Basically, you identify your top life criteria that encourage behaviors that you are disciplined about, then you define what gets into the, in the way, and then you have a pretty good system of you know, what motivates you and what stops you. And then you can establish an anchor. In, the, in my case, it's like laziness equal joint pain. And I pretty much transfer that anchor to my diet as well, which means 
falling for cravings equals joint pain. And that works pr for me pretty good. Let me guess, if you are still watching this video, you are probably really motivated to succeed at carnivore diet and all other strategies have already failed. Let me assure you, neuro-linguistic programming is really effective at helping people to achieve their goals. What NLP discovered is that there aren't really people who have more willpower than others. There aren't people that have some special gifts and others don't. What successful people do have are those mental tricks and strategies that allow them to power through challenges and their own weaknesses. And NLP captured it into the system and is teaching it to everybody that wants to be successful. So give it a try. It will take some time to learn new behaviors and patterns of thinking, but it will begin to work within a couple of weeks. All right, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, like and share, comment down below, and I will see you in my next video. And remember, success isn't final, failure isn't fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. Bye.